So guys, it's time for another two good reasons why you should buy a red light therapy device. And for you guys who missed it, in my last two good reason video, I mentioned that I'm doing a fundraise. So every money I collect on my personal discount code, I will donate 90% of the money to the prostate cancer fund. So please don't miss that out. I will put a link down below so you can click on it and which kind of code you will just dial in or tape in on your shop cart so you can get your 10%. Enough talking about discounts, what about the two good reason? So there are a lot of different reasons why you should buy a Rela therapy device. It has so many health benefits, but one of them is actually the anti-aging effect. So according to this study from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, that it took 147 women and they randomized it in between the different skin types. They had the skin types between two and four. The group was also mixed in the ages between 40 to 65. The method was that they were using two different lights, red light and amber light. And this is actually a new word for me. Amber light is the more orange, orange yellow light. So the method was that they were actually treated two areas on the face and that was the corner on their eyes. So the uh, one side they were doing the uh, amber light and the other side was on red light. So the result was quite similar. The amber light and the red light area had almost the same result. The amber light had almost 30% reduction of the wrinkle volumes while the red light area had a reduction for about 30.5%. So they were quite similar. And I think this is quite an impressive number because it was just on 10 sessions for a four week period. Now, if you are interested of treating your wrinkles or get that rejuvenized effect that I was mentioning from the study, you can buy a brand called Infraready. I've been owning this device for about a year now. And I'm very happy with it. It has helped me. So on their webpage, they have a big collection on different solutions. They have all from wraps, belts, and they actually have face masks too. And I've been looking at this on YouTube and there are a lot of uh, influencers who are talking about this and are very happy with their this type of solution and i think that is a very smart thing because if it is the only thing you want to treat is your skin on your face you should definitely go to buy a face mask because you probably save a lot of money for doing that but overall i highly recommend you to buy a panel that you can try treat the bigger parts of your body because the wrinkle effect is not only on the face. I have actually read other studies that suggest that it can actually reduce cellulites or overall get a little bit more tightenings in the skin over your body. So that is my personal opinion on that. But if you are just into the face treatment, the mask is a very good choice. So all you have to do is go into Infraredis webpage or just click on the link down below and type in Philip Brandon and you will get a 10% discount. 90% of the money will be donated to the prostate cancer fund. And for you guys who are wondering what the other 10% will go to, it will go to the channel so I can buy a new product, maybe a face mask, maybe. Not only will you get a good product, you will have a good conscience that some of the money actually will go for a good cause. So what is my other reason? Well, this is actually one of the big reasons why I started to do red light therapy session from the beginning. It is my sport injuries and I have a lot of them and some of them are the bad ones. For example, on my left knee, I have made a ACL surgery. And this is an old wrestling damage that I've been talking about before. And the thing is with you have an ACL injury is that if you don't do the surgery, you stay a 50% chance that you will get, wait a minute. Arthritis. Knee arthritis. I have a very hard time to say that word, but knee arthritis. So if you're not doing the ACL surgery, you will stay a 50% chance to get knee arthritis. But 
even if you do the ACL surgery, the statistic is the same. And that occurs between 15 to 20 years after the surgery or the when you have injured your knee. So with that said, let's jump into the studies I've found. So in this study, they were trying to figure out if LLT had any pain reduction. So what they did was that they took 15 different people and they had one group that was a placebo group or a fake group, which they had fake light on their knee and they had to do exercises. And the other group got the proper light and exercise. So the result was quite similar and I would have been surprised if there would be a big difference be between the two groups because I have been reading and I have been at the physiotherapist and I've been looking on statistic and the most of the studies I've been reading suggest that one of the only thing to reduce pain is actually to do workouts. So I wasn't that surprised about that result. But what the study also showed was that the group who got their proper red light therapy sessions showed that after a long term of use, reduced their use of painkillers. So what that tells me is that they probably got a better life quality with the combination with workout and red light therapy sessions. Another thing also that the study mentioned was that the group who got the LLT treatment showed that they had a slightly little better prestanda uh, when it comes to uh, a movement test they did. Some few studies actually suggest that red light therapy doesn't work on neophytes, but some actually are suggesting it does. And I have been trying to compare them and it is very impossible to do that because the methods are different and the same thing how they pick the patients and which kind of wavelength they have been using. But I found one study that I found a little bit interesting and this was a study that was made on 31 people who was randomized picked. And they had one placebo group and one group who got the proper uh, treatment. And they were using a wavelength on 850 nanometers. So they were treating patients two times per week. So what the result showed was that the pain was decreased significantly after the fourth and the fifth and the tenth sessions. So the conclusion from this study is that you actually can reduce the pain levels with red light therapy. So guys, that is my two reasons why you should buy or own a red light therapy device. Now, if you are interested to buy one of these devices, as I mentioned, Infrared have a big collection on different solutions. You can just go into their webpage or just click on the link down below, type in Philip Brandon and you will get a 10% discount. 90% of the money will be donated to the Prostate Cancer Fund, which will end to the end of February. So if you don't find any interesting product on Infrared, I am happily to announce that you can use the same code on Block Blue Light's webpage. The, this is a brand that is from the UK and they have also other solutions to better our health with different blue blocking lights and they have a very beautiful collection on different red light therapy panels. And one of the good things with block light is that they have the same warranty and they are FDA class just like the infrared. Another cool feature that Block Blue Light offers is that they have a touch screen on their menu system, which I think is very cool. If you don't know what to buy on Valentine's Day, why not buy a red light therapy device to your beloved one? If you found this video useful, hit the like button, spread the news about this fundraising I have started and even consider to subscribe so you will not miss the next video. Take care. Bye.